Hey fellow collectors, time for a CGC unboxing. Hey, this is James from Dragon Publications. So I got a box today from CGC and I'm actually not quite sure what's inside. Over the last month, I've sent a flurry of submissions to CGC. I've sent loose books to be pressed and graded. I've sent loose books just to be graded. I sent some comics in for Reholder. I sent one comic in for uh, possible restoration, removal, and regrading. So I have a lot of different issues out there on different tiers. And I'll be honest, I do check the CGC website once, uh, you know, in a while to kind of check the progress on my orders. Although I haven't checked in a few days, so I really don't know what's inside here. So it's going to be a surprise to you and a surprise to me. So without further ado, let's break into this box. So I don't know if you guys have seen one of my most recent videos, but I got a book back from CGC that was in a really teeny box and it was damaged and I had to send it back as a mechanical error. So this box I got back today actually looks a lot better. If they send all my books this way, I'm sure that they won't be damaged. Um, I'm not like a lot of other collectors that sends huge amounts of books into CGC. Sometimes I'll only send maybe one, two, or three books at a time, depending on what tier that I'm using. So um, I really do appreciate it when CGC uses these bigger boxes where I know the comics inside are going to be protected. So let's see what I got here. It's like there's two books inside, so that's exciting. There's a number of things this could be. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So these are books that I sent in, not to be pressed, but just to be graded. And honestly, one of these is pretty remarkable. So we'll look at that one second. But this first one is a uh, Black Adam, Endless Winter, number one. This is a variant cover. So, you know, I normally invest in comics that uh, I think have uh, are either first appearances or key issues uh, that will potentially go up in time. Now, Black Adam has become a much more popular character within the last decade. And with the new movie coming out, his books are really going up. Now, surprisingly, I actually didn't buy this as an investment. I bought this book just because I thought it has a really cool cover and I'm a Black Adam fan. So this is a personal collection book. I don't plan to resell it. And it always feels good when you can send a book to CGC, not get it pressed and get that 9.8 grade. So I'm super thrilled with this book. So this next book, this is a one of a kind. And I'm just really blown away that this got a 9.8 because it is probably the only one on the census. So this is a Space Usagi ash can from 1995, and it's a 9.8. Oh my God. So as you know, so this is the second Space Usagi series. I think, uh, so in Mirage Studios had two versions of Space Usagi, uh, and then this actually would have been the third Space Usagi series that was released by Dark Horse. So this is not one of those ash cans that was released in like 50,000 copies in the 90s that are really worthless today. This was more of a promotional comic sent to comic shops and you had to tear off the back page to order more copies of the regular Space Usagi number one. So the fact that this comic has survived for over 25 years and got the 9.8, this is amazing. I doubt you're gonna see another one of these in a long time. I cannot even say how excited I am as a Space Usagi fan and just an Usagi Yojimbo fan to have this book. So I'm really pleased that you got to share this, this moment with me opening these books. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be opening uh, more boxes of comics as they come into the house. And I kind of like the, the suspense of not knowing what's in the box. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting, even for me. So have a great day and check in soon.